25. The most spectacular northern lights in recent recorded history are those from the Great Geomagnetic Storm on August 28th and September 2nd of 1859. Studies have shown that a solar storm of this magnitude occurring today would likely cause widespread problems for modern civilization. 24. Astronauts on board the International Space Station are at the same altitude as the Northern Lights and see them from the side. 23. The Northern Lights have a southern counterpart, the Aurora Australis, or the Southern Lights, that can be seen from high southern latitudes in Antarctica, South America, New Zealand, and Australia. 22. The Southern Lights offer the same visual display as the Northern Lights, but since the South Pole is more inhospitable, it's more difficult to view the Southern Aurora. Therefore, the Northern Lights are more popular. 21. There are several towns with optimal conditions for northern lights gazing. In North America, the Aurora tourism capital is Yellowknife, Northwest Territories of Canada, while Tromso, Northern Norway, is the same for Europe. 20. There have been many legends surrounding the northern lights. Some North American Inuit tribes call the Aurora Axwarnit, meaning football player thinking it's the spirit of the dead playing football with the head of a wars. 19. Moreover, some Inuit tribes also believed that the Northern Lights were the spirits of animals that they hunted. 18. The colors of the Northern Light depend on what gas is involved and how high in the ionosphere the reaction takes place. Blue and green lights form at lower altitudes, while red colors come from the highest altitudes. 17. Auroras tend to be more frequent and spectacular during high solar sunspot activity which cycles over approximately 11 years. The last climax was in 2013. 16. In northern regions such as Alaska or Greenland, the northern lights are visible most nights of the year. Actually, they can occur at any time of the day, but we can't see them unless it's dark. 15. The best moment for watching the lights is when the aurora arcs reach the furthest toward the equator, and the magnetic pole is in between the observer and the sun. This special time is called the magnetic midnight. 14. There have been many famous and respected people who have tried to explain the Northern Lights phenomenon, including Benjamin Franklin, who theorized that the mystery of the Northern Lights was caused by a concentration of electrical charges in the polar regions intensified by snow and moisture. 13. Several agencies, such as NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, monitor solar activity and issue aurora alerts so that people eager to watch the Northern Lights know when and where they can expect this impressive show. 12. Italian astronomer and philosopher Galileo Galilei was the first to describe the phenomenon as Aurora Borealis in 1619. 11. Aurora Borealis have been a source of wonder for thousands of years. Drawing of the lights have even been found in ancient cave paintings in France dating back to 30,000 years ago. 10. Auroras occur on other planets as well. Similar to the Earth's aurora, they are visible close to the planet's magnetic poles. Astronomers have spotted the lights on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. 9. Although missing a magnetic field, an aurora-like phenomenon has also been observed on Venus. Scientists suggest it can be caused by the reaction between the solar wind and the ions in Venus's ionosphere. 8. The further north you are, the better chances of seeing the northern lights you have. Therefore, the Arctic is the best spot for watching this phenomenon. In winter, you can see the lights from the Arctic even in the afternoon. 7. No two northern lights can ever be the same. They are always of different patterns and different colors. 6. The impressive light display seemingly just above our heads is actually very far away, usually more than 60 miles above the Earth. The most distant red lights take place at heights of over 400 miles. 5. Green is the most common color of all auroras. After that is pink, a mixture of green and red, followed by pure red, yellow, and finally pure blue. 4. During intense solar storms, the northern lights become even more spectacular and can sometimes be visible as far south as Louisiana, Texas, or even Mexico. 3. The term Aurora Borealis was derived from the Roman goddess of dawn, Aurora, and the Greek name for the north wind, Boreas. 2. The Earth's magnetic field, which is responsible for the formation of the northern light, extends tens of thousands of miles into space. And 1. Apart from a spectacular visual display, the lights also produce faint sounds, such as claps, crackles, and static sounds. However, the aurora noise is so rare that hearing it is probably possible only during times of maximum aurora activity on windless nights away from other noises. If you like what you just saw, consider pressing that orange subscribe button on the upper right hand corner of your screen. And if you want more awesome lists, check out our 25 most dangerous hikes, treks and climbs on earth and our 25 interesting beer facts that will leave you tipsy.